Hello, this is part 2 of ASP.NET MVC Web API tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to execute create, read, update, delete HTTP methods. That means post, put, delete, get method of HTTP. How we can use that and how we can test those methods also. So here are some uh, basic explanation about the HTTP verbs and how we can use those. So here post post method is used to create a resource in the server and get is used to get a resource from the server and put is used to update an existing resource in the server and delete is used to delete a resource from the server. And here there are some concepts about the request and response which is sent by the client to the server and the response sent from the server to the client so in every request there will be a request header this contains the additional information about the request meaning what type of response it is expecting from the server then request body request body contains the data which which is about to send to the server response body it contains the response from the server which will send from the server to the client response status code this contains the status code received from the server for example 200 for ok and 500 for internal server error get request can be checked by browser but uh, put post and delete these three method we can going to we are going to test in fiddler so you can also install the fiddler by uh, by going to this link telric.com download fiddler then you can also see the traffic http traffic on your system how to call these methods we uh, in Fiddler, I'll show you how to call all those methods like get, post, put, delete of a web API. So these are the HTTP verbs get, post, put and delete. Put, post and delete method in our crude controller. Crude controller is a controller I am creating in my application to show the demo. And this put, post and delete method will return void because they are not sending any content to the client so the status code from the server is 204 with no content i'll show that also with asp.net web api we can control what status codes these methods return uh, this is the basic uh, i already explained these things create is used for post read for uh, get and put is for updating and delete for deleting a resource uh, in the fiddler uh, you will see in the right hand panel there will be a composer and this is the uh, HTTP URL and here this is a drop down you can select any method type post put delete get whatever you will select and here you will give the URL in the right side there will be execute button upon clicking on that you will get the response like this then you can go to the json format and you can check the data what is received from the server so here only thing you have to select a content type is application slash json and for put we are giving api crude is the controller name and zero is the means zeroth object you are going to update so new updated value you are giving in the request body so for port method a request body is required and for post method also a request body is required because you are adding a new resource to the server so you are telling here at one position or one index you are adding a, this new order and in zero position you are give, uh, creating another object it's up updated and here you are getting by only api and crude then you can see the new result here so this is all about filter and uh, if 
you want to get new videos of web api you can subscribe to my channel and now i am going to the real time demo where i have created my crude controller this is the crude controller here i am taking a list of string there are three strings and i am stopping the application and here get method get will return all the states and get by id this will return the url format you can see here on that index which is present it will return that and post will create a resource it will add that resource to the string and put will update that new value in the in the array or list and delete will remove that object so here uh, you can you already saw this now i will run this application you can see this here i am giving api employees this is for employees controller but now i will give for crude so after giving this you can see the list of array list of string whatever is there it is saving uh, showing all those get get method is executed and if i am giving one it's giving the first string now the same thing we'll observe in the fiddler how to call those so this is my fiddler i am removing all those now i'll issue a first request get request here i am selecting get method and api group this is my url now i'll press execute it is sending 200 result and double click on this you will see the json view result karnatak odisha and uttarakhand these are the three strings present upon first request get request now i'll post i'll execute a post request post request means it will create a resource so i wanted to create a resource at zeroth index and for that i have to give a request body i am giving the request body as new created object at zeroth position now i'll hit execute see it is executed and it is returning 204 204 because no content 204 no content because post is creating a resource in the server now i will issue a get request this is because the request body is there so now i am removing that i will issue a get request to see the result whether whether the new resource is added or not you can see uh, in the list we are adding so it is adding at the last so newly created object is already added but at the time of updation it will update the correct index now I will put a put a request which is at first position put means it will update update uh, update respect yeah. so for put also request body is required and here I have already written content type as application and json now I will execute this
now double click on that and go to the JSON here put it's not executed so I'm clicking on that and double click on that go to JSON or go to XML we have given something wrong in the I'm giving here three suppose and I'm giving name one now I'm executing this JSON here some error is coming when I'm clicking on execute I'm removing all those now we'll put a request 204 is returned now on open double click here it is giving no content so in the no content means it will not come but if we'll execute another get request then you can see all those changes so we have added three or four times this value now we'll see the result you can see here updated name updated name one it's already present now we'll issue a get request sorry delete request so now i am going to select here delete and here i am selecting first one we wanted to delete so execute it is returning 204 you can see here double click on this and go to json uh, it will send no content but uh, if you want to see the changes then you have to issue a get request again now get request is already executed now go to you have given the wrong url so we are just forget no id is required so just click on that now you can see one is deleted so like this you can execute all this put get request in this fiddler and thanks for watching and if you want to see the new video you can subscribe to my channel so uh, thanks for watching again this is for today